Hey, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. Today we're going to be talking about uh, in the news and rumors. Uh, rumor for today is Stern Pinball, Jersey Jack, Suncoast, multiple other pinball companies uh, I've, I've heard through the industry might be moving some or all of their operations to a certain specific area in Europe. It's called Benelux. Uh, it's an area between Germany, Switzerland, and uh, specifically Luxembourg. Uh, that is an area that seems to be duty free. And, and what I mean by that is how does this benefit the manufacturer? Well, there's no tariffs. Chinese goods can be used, kind of ironic, like the Swiss industries in that area. So think about that for a second, Swiss versus Swiss made. Kind of makes sense here. Uh, can take anything into this area, uh, can ship anything out of that area through Europe. Uh, no import tax, no customs, can ship Anywhere, even the United States of America, South America, Australia, all from this area in Europe called Benelux. Who would have thought, right? I mean, I've never even heard of this place, but I'm starting to hear more and more as I dig and I dig and I connect the dots and as I research, I'm learning these things. And so from the sound of it, you know, even from stories that we've done before, we had a story about Jersey Jack potentially moving some of their operations. We heard that through the grapevine and the industry insider that we knew. And again, it was even rumored to them. Uh, but at this point, some of the dots are connecting. Clear code issues. Going to Europe, Jack, right? See where I'm going with this? Let's connect the dots here. So Stern is the rumor that we heard. So now, if Jersey Jack is going over there, now maybe Jersey Jack and Stern are over there using either the same manufacturer for the same thing, or they have separate manufacturers doing their things. But it's just ironic how they're having clear code issues at the same time. Suncoast supposedly getting their play fields from Germany, right? Even per some of the, 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 the feeds that I watched stating that they were getting new play fields in to build and they were receiving them from Germany. That was, on, that was on absolute streams, right? So the thing is, is Suncoast getting their play fields from the same area? Is Stern? Is Jersey Jack? Are others? Again, this is a rumor at this point, but you know we're connecting the dots based off of this and putting our opinion behind it, making it an op-ed, right? So the thing is, is that if it's a rumor, let's connect the dots. Stern, Jersey Jack, play field issues, clear coat on the play field specifically. Can we make a hypothesis that maybe they're getting their play fields made by the same manufacturer having the same issues. Yes, we can. That's causal. Uh, can we apply that to Jack going to Europe, supposedly on vacation, but ironically, Benelux is in the area that he was in. It's right in between Switzerland, Germany, and Luxembourg. So if he was over there, that shows that potentially there is a manufacturer over there having these issues, and like a good owner, Jack went over there to fix the issues, right? That's causal. That's directly related. You know, so again, think of this for a second. Are the pinball manufacturers building their play fields, doing the clear coat, doing other things from parts and et cetera in this area? And if so, are Chinese goods being made too? Are they being used in these areas? Well, it says per this Benelux area that there's a lot of Chinese manufacturers in this area, some in the watch company industry as well. So there's a lot of different companies that are here and they're using it for their tax incentives. So is this a good thing or a bad thing? to the community. Again, comment below. Is this good or is it bad? I mean, our take on it is if they're moving their operations to an area that's going to be import tax free, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, tariffs, this, that, and the other, it's about profitability. It's about making money. So again, at what point does making money take away the aspect of quality and using these manufacturers or these processes in Europe Will that cause issues like clear code issues, thus making quality less on a machine that was supposedly better? So these are all things to put into play. But if anyone has heard anything beyond this rumor, please put it down below. Uh, please comment down below. If you know anything about Benelux, these areas like that, please let us know more about this. We've done initial research. It's taken me three weeks to pull this information up as it is. And again, I don't got all the facts here, but connecting the dots, it seems like something's happening in the pinball uh, manufacturing realm. It seems like people are moving some of their operations to this area potentially, and hence some of the quality issues maybe that we've been seeing. I don't know. Are they directly related? 
That's yet to be seen, right? But again, we could always ask the questions. We could always wait for an answer. But anyway, what are your thoughts, pinball community? Will this help the pinball manufacturers? Will it hurt them? What are your thoughts on this, this rumor at this point? Again, thank you for watching today. Like and follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Click that subscribe button down below. If you like arcade, if you like pinball, if you like virtual pinball, that's our format. That's what we do here. Join our family. Again, your neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk guy signing off. Thank you again for your time today.